Number 20. In 2006, a government SWAT team raided Kent Hovind's Creation Science Ministry. I believe Behemoth is the long-necked dinosaur. Now, there are 13 different long-necked dinosaurs, okay? There's the Brachiosaur, the Apatosaur, the Cetosaur. He's got the big seat, okay? There's the Blondosaur. You have to talk to her kind of slow, okay? Um. 19. Kent and his wife, Joe, got arrested at gunpoint. Joe was dragged out of bed and not allowed to get dressed. This violent method of arresting a suspect is usually reserved for, for hardcore gang related activity. It was disproportionate and a totally over the top display of force. This one professor was getting very angry. <clears throat> I seem to do that to them. He said, Mr. Hoven, do you realize there are nearly 400 varieties of dogs in the world today? I said, sir, I have no idea how many, but 400 sounds good. He said, do you mean to tell me that you believe all those dogs came from two dogs on Noah's Ark? You want me to believe that? I said, sir, uh, would you look at what you're teaching your students? You're teaching your students that all those dogs came from a rock. 18. They were both thrown in prison. Joe got released from jail a few years ago. But as of February 2015, Kent maintains his innocence from behind bars. 17. The prosecution of Kent Hovind was led by Michelle M. Heldmeyer, U.S. Attorney, and um, uh, J.D. Roy Atchison, Assistant U.S. Attorney. In 1993, Judge Richard Kreidler of Jacksonville committed suicide when he was caught and charged with the crime of purchasing illegal pornographic materials. The following year, in May 1994, Michelle Heldmeyer, now the uh, US Attorney, made national news when it was found that her husband, Joseph Heldmeyer, was on the same pornographic mailing list as the judge. He was never prosecuted. The Sun Sentinel, in an article titled Attorney's Actions Warrant Probe from May 14, 1994, poses the question, why? Was it because He's the husband of an assistant U.S. attorney, Michelle Heldmeyer, presumably. I said, ma'am, do you believe in evolution? She said, yes, I do. I'm a professor here at the university. I said, well, ma'am, would you please tell me then where we came from? She said, we came from a macro molecule. I said, and where did that come from? She said, from the oceans, from the prebiotic soup. I said, and where did that come from? She said, it rained on the rocks for millions of years. You could see it was slowly dawning on her. You know, I do believe I come from a rock. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you do. 16. Just a few days after Kent Hovind's trial, the assistant U.S. attorney, J.D. Roy Atchison here, was caught, arrested, and jailed for attempting to rape a five-year-old. Number 15. At Kent's trial, Judge Margaret Casey Rogers, the presiding judge over the case, allegedly said, Kent Hovind's crime is worse than rape. Did the judge know the prosecutor was a rapist? Number 14. To appeal the case, Kent paid $6,000 for a full court transcript. A court transcript is an unedited copy of every word spoken in the courtroom. To be valid, the appeal had to be filed within 12 months. The documents were held back for 16 months, making sure Kent missed the deadline for appealing his own case. 13. Four months after the deadline, and too late to file an appeal, Kent finally received the transcript, and somebody had tampered with it, removing the judge's words worse than rape. 12. Eight attendees of the court have signed an affidavit stating that they all heard Judge Margaret Casey Rogers declare Kent Hovind's crime to be worse than rape. Whoever tampered with the official court transcript is not known, but the fact that fact alone that it was tampered with is enough to overturn the case. 11. 
And what hideous, monstrous crime deserves the title worse than rape? Structuring. Not murder, not genocide, no. Structuring. That's withdrawing any amount of your own money from your own bank account. I'm not making this up. If you withdraw money from your own bank more than twice in the last 10 years, then you're guilty of structuring. He served eight years in prison for a nonsense made up crime. 10. To recap, the assistant US attorney who prosecuted Kent was a rapist. The judge allegedly said Kent Hovind was, was worse than a rapist. The prosecutor was then found guilty of rape. Then the judge's statements about rape got removed from the court transcripts. And those transcripts were finally delivered to Kent four months past beyond the deadline for appeal. And that's only half of it. Do you still believe Kent Hovind was uh, guilty? Nine. Two juries were dismissed until the guilty verdict was made. Eight. Kent has been moved around from prison to prison 23 times in the last eight years. Some say they're trying to get him killed because the more you move a prisoner around, the more likely they are to share a cell with a violent inmate. Seven. Allegedly, the IRS agent Scott Schneider seized over $42,000 from the Creation Ministry's safe and then created a tax bill for the exact amount of money seized. 6. Judge Margaret Casey Rogers has a track record of handing out unjust and outrageous rulings against Bible believers. For example, she issued a contempt order against two school teachers for praying before they ate their food. The Washington Times reported, and the source is at the bottom of the screen there, that over 60 congressmen stepped in to show support for the teachers who were facing jail time, and that the judge was completely out of line ruling against the, the First Amendment constitution rights. She ought to have been dismissed as a judge at that point, but the case got settled out of court and the judge is still in office. This is outrageous. Number five, the same judge, Margaret Casey Rogers, who allegedly misdirected the jury on the first trial and seems to have delayed the paperwork to stop the appeal and may even have ordered the tampering with the court transcripts, has been selected to be the new judge in the upcoming trial. That is a massive conflict of interest. Number four, a coordinated effort between the police force who authorised the SWAT team the IRS agents who invented tax bills, the prosecutor who was a convicted felon, and the judge with a track record of issuing heavy-handed anti-Christian rulings can only require Congress to investigate because unsound, unsafe, rough justice will continue to infect the system unless people are made aware. Number three, while in prison, Kent Hovind has highlighted the fact that judges are allowed to invest in the prison industrial complex. They can hold stocks in private prisons for profit. Judges are incentivized to hand out longer sentences because while the prisons are full, the companies that run those prisons will be in profit. And a judge who has an investment in those stocks will take a dividend from that profit. It's a conflict of interest for a judge to profit from handing out longer sentences and they ought to be banned from investing in prison related stock. Number two, an internet petition with over 19,000 signatures on it to free Kent Hovind was removed from the internet. We know who has the petition, but he, he won't release it. A link to a new petition can be found below this video. So the number one mind-blowing thing that happened to Kent Hovind is that he now faces a further 100 years in prison. The new trial is set for February 9, uh, 2015. The trial could be moved to March. Uh, and what crime has he committed that deserves that sort of lengthy sentence? 
he mailed the Liz pendants on the title of his property. The government appears to be selling off all his assets and his property is still in dispute. The Liz pendants informs any buyers that there's still legal dispute over the houses. Once again, they've made up a ridiculous crime of mail fraud to unjustly have him jailed for the rest of his life. But anyway, there are 16 theories of what happened to the dinosaurs. One theory says an asteroid struck the Yucatan Peninsula in you know, Mexico and killed them 65 million years ago. A scientist here in Indiana said, the dinosaurs killed themselves off with their own flatulence. <laughs> Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. That's silly, okay? You give things time, they get worse. Here's Sue at 20. Here she is at 90. Okay. They, don't, they don't get better. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that nothing ever occurred to God? He's already thought of everything. He even knows everything you've ever thought about. The Bible says he understands the imaginations of the thoughts. That's a fascinating verse. He not only knows your thoughts, he knows the imaginations of the thoughts. You see, you can not only think about things, you can actually think about what you are thinking about. Think about that. So what can you do about it? Like the video? Share it? If you know how to, then copy this video and post it to your own channel. Post it to Facebook. Make a Twitter. Write a blog. Post it to forums. Track down the 60 congressmen mentioned in this video and write to them about investigating the matter. Under this video you'll find all 20 reasons in text form. Copy and paste that to a file. Use it whenever you can. Whatever you do, do it quickly because there's only two weeks from the date of this video to raise awareness. I believe that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. God bless you all and remember, the answer to 1984 is 33 AD.